Okay. So, uh, oh, good. You'll need to explain that <laughs> because you're out of breath. I had a quick change. I see. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> good thing you explained that. Well, did you see? Yeah. There was no effort at the rollerblading. Just the changing was. <laughs> good morning, Jackie. You're pretty funny backstage too. Yeah. Right. I hope so. He's well, he's directing the girls <laughs> backstage. Thank you. Oh, uh, Fred, of course, is not seen backstage because no one could no find one him. No one ever sees Fred. No, no. Fred does nothing. <laughs> what did you get? Did you get the, <laughs> the, the rollerblades, like, <laughs> freaking out? Whoa. So after, the, after they slipped, did you get that? What? Whoa. The rollerbladers were, like, flipping because they slipped on the, on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the maggots or whoever was on stage. Did, did, oh, did, did they? Oh, is that, that was bananas. tough for them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get that? <laughs> no. Was it as tough as it was for you to say it? <laughs> Gary's sitting and explaining one. Uh, he goes, he goes that, that transsexual was shoving a banana in my face during the Baba Booey song. Like, there's That's a lot right. of just interesting yeah. moments. It's all backstage stuff. He blew stuff. up because his concentration was broken by yeah. one of the dancers on stage. Yeah, yeah, his concentration. <laughs> so anyway, it's all available Do to you. Do we have any of the rehearsal stuff where Gary couldn't get his timing right? We have tons of that. We have everything. <laughs> that was funny. 1-800-52-STAIN. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's 39.95, and you, and you have to uh, call up now because it's first come, first serve. What yeah. do we have tons of? Of you. Doing what? Being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Gary is disturbing looking on the backstage video. Is he? Yeah. I don't Why know what so it is. Why are you so fascinated with me? You, the whole you audience are fascinating. Is, you are fascinating. Wait till everyone sees it. When you're talking and your lips are all wet, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I was nervous. I was on medication. I was dried out. I was drier than even usual. Why were your lips so greasy? Only his lip was wet. <laughs> his lips. I don't know what was going on. But there was a whole thing that you probably didn't get where you were trying to determine if Gary was sick and should be away from you. Oh, no, that I didn't get. <laughs> Some things I couldn't funny. get. I might, I might have that, though. Yeah. I'm not done looking through all the tapes. When you but. threw him out of the... <laughs> what? Uh, when you threw him out of the writers' meeting, that yeah. was good. Yeah, well, he's sitting. Gary is in a writing meeting. I'm having a writing meeting in a very close quarters. It was a hot room, and Gary is coughing up phlegm and disgusting and everything. And I go, Gary, you're sick. Can you leave the room? He goes, I'm not sick. I go, Gary, you're sick. Leave the room. He goes, I'm not sick. I go, but you're coughing and, and farting no, no, but, all over the place. But he that's goes, not what he said. He, he, you said you're, you're sick, and he said, what did he say? He said, no, I'm no, getting I to have it. A chest problem. No, I'm getting to oh, it. Oh, I'm Please. He goes, I'm not sick. I go, then Wait, why are you coughing and sneezing all over? Wait a second. Can, can I just ro roll it back a second? Yeah. Because you're really a devious person. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you first started asking me about how I felt as if you were concerned. Oh, that was great. That's go, right. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. And I go, yeah, I'm all right. You know, hey, Gary, the guy, how you doing? And the guy, but I mean, he's not like just having a cough. He's like hocking up stuff in the room. No, I yeah, was. Yeah, his oh, eyes were all red. I, and your eyes are red I and watering. I had something up running. and coughed it out. That's what you're going to tell everyone? Yes, I am. Where did I spit it out? I don't know. That's what I wanted to know. Oh, you're <laughs> such a liar. So anyway. Wait a second. I, wait a second. Let me just say. Yeah. So you go, Gary, are you all right? And I go, yeah. You go. Because you don't look at him, you know, worried about you. Your eyes are you red, sure and I go. Yeah, but you lied to me. You weren't all right, and you said you were all right. That's you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, but you're a, you you lied to get the truth. <laughs> I said to him, "Are you all right?" So he goes, "Yeah, I'm fine." I go, "You're sick." I'm I just said to him, "Look, you're sick." He I'm goes, about "I goes, I'm you. not sick. I'm not sick." He you goes, "He goes, I'm not sick." I go, "You're sick." I said, "You're coughing. Your eyes are all red. There's something wrong with you." He goes, "No, no, 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 no. I get this every year. Yeah. When the seasons change, I go. Oh, it's your allergies." He goes, no, 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 it's bronchitis. I didn't say, I said it's a bronchial condition. Yeah, a bro listen, right, listen to what an idiot. He wouldn't say bronchitis. He goes, it's a bronchial condition. I go, Gary, a bronchial condition means you have bronchitis, you're sick. Absolutely he goes, not no, contagious. no, he goes, I'm not contagious. My doctor says I'm not contagious. Absolutely the not. The guy's contagious. coughing, he has bronchitis. He's draining from every orifice. Yeah, and bronchitis <laughs> is maybe the most contagious thing you can get. I wasn't draining from every orifice. You are absolutely far. contagious. You are absolutely full of bronchitis, and you have no idea what you're talking You sounded like a moron that day. Everyone was laughing at you. <laughs> I, know, I know he was very upset. But, but, but why would he be upset? I asked him to leave. He had a contagious thing. I had to go perform. No, no, no. no. First of all... You, you acted like you were concerned about me, and, and then, that's you, then, then you turned on me. No, then you go, I you wanted to I go, yeah, you. I'm not feeling a little good. Then you go, then you turned on me, and then viciously. the whole, the, viciously, and then for the next three days, I would walk near you on the stage, and you would take like three steps to the of side. Of course, you had a bronchitis. <laughs> but I had to talk to you. I tried to, I tried to Gary, yell to you. Gary, write a note. <laughs> <laughs> but Gary, don't that you understand, you still stuff. insist that you're not sick. You were not sick. I was still sick. You were on medication, and you were not sick. Right. Well, why would you take medicine? Just to feel a little better. And <laughs> where you were, were you not sick? I was sick. Oh, you were sick. I did tell you I wasn't feeling well. I told you that. Oh, you told me you had First a bronchial condition. I feel fine. Right. 
Guy's like a retard. <laughs> a Meanwhile, he was losing his voice. I'm saying, you know, Gary, I got to carry a two hour show. I got to have my voice. Sort and of they, kept, they on were me. debating about whether to tape Gary rather than have him do his song live because they were afraid he was going to lose his voice. No, that's well, not he's what such it was. a he's such Robin, a selfish moron. Wait a second. You know why you're a Robin selfish moron? Robin make stuff up. I, you, I did not make it up. No, 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 it had nothing moron. to do with my voice. I'm telling you what the producers were telling me. No First of all, you are. Let me tell Robin right now what a not nice person you are. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. How mean you are. What after I, I ran do? through, after I went through the first pass on the song, right? Yeah. We sit down, we're in dress rehearsal, we're trying to do the song. Now, I'm nervous about this because you got me doing this thing. Right. And I did listen to the tape, but it was, you know, I get out there and I, I blew the line. So I said, okay, roll the tape back. Robin walks out on stage, she goes, didn't you listen? Don't you even rehearse? Don't you know what's going on? So now I feel terrible. Now I feel right. awful. You're holding up rehearsal? My God, he didn't even know what's going on. And I feel like a more now. She wants to work with now professional. Now more, so I go through the second pass and I blow it because I'm so whacked out <laughs> thinking what Robin said on the first pass. Right. And I'm saying to myself, my God. And then finally, the producer goes, the producer goes, Gary, just just take it easy. And then, right, I, and right. then I calm down and then I got it. But it I was, didn't know she did that. She was like on me. She was like on me in oh, front good. of everybody. Oh. Obviously, whipped you into shape. No, it didn't make it worse. Thank you for doing that, Robin. <laughs> Wait, what, so what, mean. What, what is so mean about you? I'll tell you why you're meaner than Robin. I'll tell you why you're meaner than Robin. I'm not a mean person. <laughs> Stupid, but not mean. No, you're mean. Because you knew I had to perform. You had a bronchitis. Instead of saying to yourself, hey, maybe I should stay away from Howard. Maybe I should inform him that I'm not feeling well. Maybe we should keep our distance. Oh, yeah. Let's just go you tell rather, Howard he's sick. You would rather <laughs> insist. I, I blame you would rather, the plague. You would rather insist on being near me, in my face. The last guy who Coughing and telling me that you're not sick. The last guy who told you that he was sick was Al Rosenberg and his wife. And you haven't seen her in nine years. That's right. I wouldn't see her anyway. I would anybody who walks up to you and says they're sick is a moron. No, Gary, you don't deny I've that you're sick. I tried to stay away from you as much as I yeah, could. Yeah, he's coughing all over me. Was yeah. I hanging out in your dressing room yes. unnecessarily? No, but I don't want right. you hanging out in my dressing room necessarily. I tried to keep it to a minimum. Who would, who would ever walk up to you and tell you that, 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 that they're sick? Someone who cared about me that I had to perform. Just say, hey, boss, I'm going to keep my distance. I'm not feeling well. Well, I tried to keep my distance without bogging you down with... Yeah, well, you didn't do a good job. And then when I say to him, you're sick, he goes, I'm not sick. <laughs> it's, like, it's like saying, hey, boss, I don't have a broken arm. It's just my bone is in two pieces. Ah. I mean, it was semantics. <laughs> I don't have bronchitis. I have a bronchial condition. I was just trying to keep as much stuff off your head as possible. Yeah, well, sure. the funniest thing was when you said, well, what is that bronchial condition? <laughs> it's a bronchial condition. I got the biggest event in pay-per-view history, and you're... You're just, you're just, what, you're just sneezing all over. Uh, no, I was not sneezing. You there was were. No you were, sneezing oh, involved. Boy. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, coughing. <laughs> you're going to yell at me yeah. for something that might have happened but didn't? Yeah, okay. Are you getting a tape of guy with his puffer? You see that thing yet? Yeah, what was that? I think it's like the iron lung. What do you have? No, so bring it in. <laughs> no, you don't have to bring it in. What is it? <laughs> it's, a, it's an inhaler. Inhaler. But, but what happened was I had a little one, and it wasn't good enough. So now I got a big one. But well, I mean, I didn't get look, it just this time. I, I got to tell you something. When, when people order this tape and see you backstage, they're going to see that something was wrong with you. <laughs> Wait till you see him. And his belly's hanging out. I mean, you, you really don't look attractive. You know, and then really when Gary, exaggerate. Then Gary is climbing into his gorilla outfit and stuttering John is helping him. <laughs> you want to know what the sexiest piece of tape is backstage? Me getting into my outfit and John no, helping no, no, me? No, 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 no. It's just, it, talk about getting into outfits. Debbie Tay, the space alien, is standing yeah. there naked. And the uh, Elena Beastie who I thought was really cute, looks like Shannon Doherty, is helping her get into her bathing suit, and they can't figure out how to do it because it's, it's got weird straps and stuff. Uh -huh. and, they're, and she's dressing her. That, to me, is the sexiest thing I saw backstage. <laughs> or that girl who's help, who uh, did the dance on you, John. Oh, yeah, she's unbelievable. She's explaining how she does her uh, paints and stuff. What a body. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm getting... Some of the interns got sex. Oh, did they? Yeah, I'm not going to say with which girls. Can we say who had sex? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's any. Yeah, I don't think yeah, yeah, I think it can. Gorilla got one of the. Uh, Gorilla he, did. He got one of the contestants. You're kidding. No, nah. uh, I finally found out. Fred told me, believe it or not. Oh, after all of his whining and crying, he. That's did what get was somebody. going on. Gorilla did get someone, and she's <laughs> really beautiful. Really. So beautiful, I can't believe it. Don't you think she's beautiful? Ooh. Yeah. I no, can't tell you who. Pretty. I can't say who. She's just. Let's just say that she's one of the beautiful girls yep. who sort of. You know, who sort of fell away. You, you, she didn't really. She wasn't really loud, so you never really got to meet her. But she was very, very. Pretty. She was way too oh, pretty yeah. for Gorilla. Really. But Gorilla already lost her. He doesn't know where she is. No, uh, she's already with someone else. But, but <laughs> the, a lot of guys ended up with uh, girls. Really? Yeah, I didn't realize that. I tell you something. I. I don't know. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get in on this. <laughs> I don't believe what's going on. You gotta tell me. I don't know. Oh.
Now you know what I was doing before I got married on this show. You're not kidding. Uh, I don't know why you got married. I can't. I mean, your wife's okay, but I, Jesus. I, I've been hearing. You could be having a parade, a smorgasbord. I had my parade, man. Really? You had a, You got it out of your system? I, I really did. Now it's time we'll see you in another year. We'll see another... It'll come back, that yeah. fever. <laughs> I had my parade. <laughs> you know how your cold comes well, back every I, year? Yeah. <laughs> at least I had one, buddy. Hey, I had a parade. And you All know right. what? I got a lot better looking girls than you ever got. Yeah, one girl in Princeton and those yeah. other women that you dragged through here that you say are good looking. <laughs> oh, the good looking ones won't come on. Yeah. You, right. didn't think my, you didn't think my first girlfriend was good looking? She's the only one. Uh, and you haven't met the one from Princeton. You never saw no, her. No, but I met, there's been three that you've brought through the here. Yeah, well, you beautiful should have seen one them. we met. Yeah, well, right. you should have seen her when she was young. <laughs> when I got her, she looked hot. I mean, they're 40 now, guys. Yeah, Gary. We'll see wow. what your girlfriend, we saw some of your girlfriends, you big tooth bastard. <laughs> I saw some of your girlfriends at twenty. Yeah, <laughs> they were pretty bad. They're pretty awful. Oh no, no, wait! I, don't yeah, we saw we saw what you were dating. Don't confuse some girls I brought around to meet you to impress them to get them into bed with girlfriends. All don't right, confuse sure. the issue. Even being the producer on the Howard Stern show, you had some scrags. <laughs> hey, d that's part of the parade. Ah. Scrags, good-looking ones. At least when I'm having sex with a girl, she doesn't vomit. <laughs> that's true. Gary, <laughs> you don't have that distinction. Gary's with, in bed with a girl and she vomited. <laughs> so? So. So. Kind of review. Yeah. Hey, man, she really... Does that go along in the parade when you're going? <laughs> she went wild, man. She threw up. I'm good. And then they moved to another room and have finished having sex. Uh. <laughs> maybe we should move to... Did, did she say let's move to another room or you did? She did. Those well, were the she days, was the man. one who knew she threw up. Yeah, right. She, we, she, <laughs> Gary didn't even notice. Well, I sort of knew. I mean, I heard, I heard a liquid sound hitting a pillow. <laughs> I took the puke right out of a boss. <laughs> Boy, when I have sex, man, I'm good. I get him puking. <laughs> well, hey, maybe a guy could look at that as a positive. Yeah, you never yeah. know. I have ever since. It was such a total release for her. She puked. <laughs> <laughs> she released everything. <laughs> she total evacuation. <laughs> Ever give a girl diarrhea, Gary? <laughs> See how fascinating you are? Yeah. I'm telling you, the backstage tape on you is very fascinating. I'm only fascinating. True fans of Gary and, and picking on Gary. I love only, this tape. I'm only fascinating if you're narrating. I know. And I will be narrating. With teleprompter. I mean, not with teleprompter, with telestrator. telestrator. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly teleprompter. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I know that girl too, so I can just picture her vomiting. Oh. I know she listens to the show. I'm sure she still does. She must be cringing. Yeah. <laughs> She's still vomiting. <laughs> still vomiting. Every time you bring it up. <laughs> 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 Oh, Gary. Oh. Oh, Gary, your lovemaking has such an effect on me. <laughs> All right, maybe it was a tequila. <laughs> yeah. The I'm not, did she tell you she wasn't sick like you tell me? We, and didn't, I we didn't discuss it. All right. We just what, didn't who just, cleaned up the sheets and stuff? I have no idea. What, what do you mean? It was in your apartment. No, no, no. It was in her apartment. Oh, I see. We just moved to another room. and uh, and. Did she smell like puke? You know, could, she could have, but I don't, <laughs> yeah. my my senses were dull to say the least. <laughs> she was used to that. Obviously, she knew the procedure. You just moved to the next bed. Well, say, I got a better story for you. Go it's just too oh, long to boy. tell one day. No, tell it now. I I I brought this other girl home one time. <laughs> <laughs> she was really drunk, you know, yeah. really really drunk. I met her at the uh, K Rock birthday party, right? She was really. You mean my birthday show? No, no, no. It was no. Uh, K Rock did like their third birthday party at a club in the city. Okay. She was really, really drunk. We go back to my place. <laughs> Do she... I know this girl? No. All right. We start making out. Was she someone you met through the show? Someone I met that night at the party. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. And uh, we start making out, and you know, really just sort of start getting into it, but nothing heavy. Yeah. All of a sudden, like her eyes start you know moving around, and I could oh. tell, and she had long, long blonde hair, like right. down to her ass. Right. So I rushed her into the bathroom, and she vomited, right? <laughs> but <laughs> As you were kissing her. No, 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 no. But the best part was... No, but I mean, you were kissing her, and then she ran in the bathroom and vomited. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that is You know what? I can believe that. I was looking at the backstage tape of Gary, <laughs> and I said I, I was laughing so hard. I was sitting there with John Lolis and Scott Einziger, uh -huh. who were working on the videotape with me, and I'm watching, I go... Is Gary funny to look at or what? I mean, look at what's going on with those teeth and those lips. And the, I said, they're inner tubes. He goes, everyone goes, 
I said, why am I, why am I so entertained by Gary? And, and Scott and John just said, he's odd. He's funny looking. And I said, yeah, he is. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, we, had, we had a huge discussion about you. John Lowlife? Yeah, John Lowlife. Johnny Lawless. Um, John Lowlife and, uh, and Scott. So, yeah. so this woman vomited. In, now, I can see why, though. If you were kissing Gary, wouldn't you vomit? I can't even imagine. Wait, think of the others that kissed me and didn't vomit. Wait, the the first thing, right, right. Wait a minute. Stomachs. Wait a minute. Fair the enough. first thing that people say when they meet Gary's wife <laughs> yeah. is, first they say she's beautiful, and then they say she kisses Gary? I know. <laughs> she doesn't necessarily kiss him. You don't think so? I don't think they kiss during their lovemaking. <laughs> she wears a dental dam. But some, let's, let's point out, in all fairness to Gary, some women have not vomited when they've kissed you. Most. Yeah, right. Some women were able to hold it right. down. I, yeah. o- only, How can they not vomit? Only two have vomited, and it was and alcohol was involved. Only two of them have vomited. And alcohol was involved. You know, if you do kiss Gary, don't drink. <laughs> right. So drinking and kissing don't make It's like kissing a plunger. So listen. <laughs> So, right. So, Go so, ahead. So, so, this, this is a great. Right, right. So she vomits. But this right. is a great story to indicate just like how horny guys are. Right. So she vomits, and when she lifts her head hmm. out of the toilet, not only is there like vomit all, all over the mouth, place, right? But her hair fell into the toilet. Oh. Right. So she's really messed up. So she's really messed up. She's not at her best. So I probably should put her in a cab and send her home. Right. But that would be the decent thing. The to decent do. thing to do. But no, I cleaned her up. <laughs> I swear I did. I I, uh, I uh, broke open a new toothbrush. Mm-hmm. I uh, gave her some mouthwash. Yeah. I cleaned her pretty good. I I cleaned her hair. Yeah. I got an old towel and I like cleaned her up and <laughs> and everything and, and she was cleaned up and I said you feeling better? She said yeah. And we went back into my room. I made love. And no no we started uh you know uh, kissing kissing again and then her eyes rolled back. Boom I had her I had a um, Did she, and, and, I mean, you, her eyes roll back, so she doesn't say, hey, I've got to go vomit. No, it's obvious. I said, don't. I'm like, hurry up. Don't throw up on my bed. And you drag her back into I the bed. I drag her back into the bathroom where she vomits some more. <laughs> hair in the toilet. <laughs> her hair fell in the toilet and everything. And then she went back. Uh, she, she went back into my bed. I cleaned her up again. She went back into Do my bed. Do you flush before you dunk her head in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> she went... Uh, you clean her up again. I clean her up again, and at you this point broke I broke up in a new toothbrush again. No, I used the same one. But right. At this point, I said, you know, this is a lost cause because hmm. she's in really bad shape. Right. So I uh, I put her in my room, and um, is she good looking? <laughs> yeah, she's a great body. Right. So I put her in my room. Ugly with it. <laughs> and uh, and she passed out. Right. You know. Mm. So my friends came over because I had a I was going on a trip. I was leaving for Club Med at five in the morning. Right. So my friends came over, and she passed out on a bed, and she was wearing the underwear. They looked at her skirt. <laughs> oh, no, Gary. <laughs> they all looked up her skirt? <laughs> you know, they didn't touch her. Just, you know, right, right. Because she was passed yeah, out. Yeah, sure. So then I... <laughs> then I but wait, so now i got to get her home. Wilding. <laughs> Wilding. Absolutely. There you go. So now i got to get her home. This is what Wilding. I Wilding. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying his buddies. Oh. So, hey, Gary, what do you got in the bedroom over there? Hey, guys, look at what I got. Yeah. Well, no, no, she was running around the party letting everybody know she's wearing a denim skirt, and she's running around the party letting everybody know that she wasn't wearing any underwear. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, so... Uh, mm, I could go for that. So, so You know what? I would I would add sex with her. <laughs> so I would have done the same thing he did. But I you know what it reminds me of? The Baba yeah. Booey dance. Yes. He, he was cleaning her. And yeah. Cleaning <laughs> like a monkey. So listen, yeah. so now, yeah, right. it's, now it's like it's, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I got to get on a five o'clock flight, you know, right. at the airport. Yes. So I sort of like wake her up, and she's really, really groggy. And I'm trying to get her home, but she doesn't know where she lives, <laughs> right? Yeah. So my friend said, I lived in Spanish Harlem. My friend, said, just leave her on the corner. Come on, let's go. <laughs> really? I said, no, no, you no. can't do that. That's wrong. She lived in Spanish Harlem. No, no I lived in Spanish. Did. Harlem. Oh, you did, right? And uh, but I remember she told me like around where she lived, you know. So uh, we put her in the car. We just start driving, you know, up and down blocks. And I'm saying, does anything look familiar? <laughs> she didn't know where she lived. She didn't know where she lived. How is that possible? She was that polluted. Wow. So finally, she <laughs> goes, I, I think it's you here. know, you're looking at a girl that didn't die in your I, house. I, I, I know. Really so finally, I uh, we get her to her apartment, and um, she had the keys on her. She lived in a five story walk up, <laughs> and I had a carrier. <laughs> I carried her because she couldn't walk up the stairs. Meanwhile, you never even got laid. Right. 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 So uh, no, you got to clean her. I carried her up the stairs. <laughs> cleaned her up. <laughs> and she lives in one. You know, like a lot of people in Manhattan, buy the, get these big apartments. You know, people don't have a lot of money. Right. They get these big apartments and they share it with like eighteen people. Oh no. So I put the key in the door and there's like some Israeli guy watching TV and I'm like, which room is hers? <laughs> yeah. You know, because she said, oh, told me she lived with like six people and he's like, you know, uh, second one on the right to the back and I put her down in there. Yep. And I went on my trip. And the guy never even asked any questions. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. saw her come home like that many right, times. Who right. knows? <laughs> Who even knows if that was her place? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, second room on the right. <laughs> she hasn't gotten out yet. She's been changing the bed for I, 30 years. i got to tell you, I'm leaving out a key part of the story that I can't tell on the air. Uh, t- tell me. Why can't you tell it? It's too graphic. No, it's just... Can well, you clean I, it no, up I a little? It up. I can clean okay, it up. Okay, good. Well, 
so we were down in like the 70s, okay? Yeah. And I was trying to get her back to my apartment. Now, at this point, she's like, you know, a little frisky. This is after the party. No, right, after right. the party. So I'm trying to get her back to my place. So we start walking. This is before she threw up. Yeah, yeah. This is what, like everything's pretty normal. Right. So we start walking, you know, up the street. We're going to a couple of avenues. Up, and I say, you want to take a cab? And she's like, no, no, let's walk. And she keeps telling me how she has to go to the bathroom. Yeah. You know? Oh. Right. And how, uh, and she tells me where she lives. So we're getting closer to her apartment, I assume. You know, so I said, hey, here's your apartment. Right. She goes, no, 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 no. She goes in front of the uh, the Museum of Natural History. Right. Right. She goes bushes. Yeah. And she just, she just. Squatted? She just squatted. Really? But I mean, it was like staring right at her. Well, I think that's a turn on. It was to me. Yeah, that's sexy. He's like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> They're going out there. It's like a monkey. They're in the bushes, yeah. squatting. Yeah, squatting. Cleaning and pruning. <laughs> I thought that was a bit, I thought that was a little odd. You know, that, that. And you never had sex with her. You never no, but I, I, while I did think it was odd, I also thought that, you know, hey, this, you know. Yeah, she's pretty much up for anything. Right. Easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. I hope you have daughters, you. That's a good sign <laughs> that, you know, you're going to get somewhere. I'm going to go squats at a bushes. <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> oh, that's a good story. I never, I never heard that one before. Oh. Uh. Jackie's sitting there going, I got a better one. No, I, don't know no, no. I, I don't really have a better one. Uh -oh. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh -oh. well, I, I, I don't know if this is terrible at all. Yeah. But just, well, we just cut me off and call me an idiot. But all right. I, I was, uh, I came home after a band job late at night with this girl that I used to be with once in a while. And she performed an act, you know. And I was drunk out of my mind, of course. Of course. Of course. And as I usual. Say, the next day, as I recalled, I kind of remembered as it was happening that there was some gagging going on. But this can happen in right. such a, a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the next, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, she okay. was gagging, that right? Okay, happen. yeah, she was gagging. Well, then she must have left that night. Well, that's because you're such a monster. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen you. Nobody's gagging on yeah, anything. So obviously, it could have been for some other reason. Yeah. which we'll see. It was <laughs> right. You were all proud of yourself because she was gagging. Hey, right. You, know. you were like, whoa. Probably sobered me up. <laughs> right. So she left either that morning or the night before, whatever. But <laughs> I wanted to go to the bathroom. Uh oh! And as I'm sitting there, this little vomit. I look down, yeah. and in my lower area hair, it's like hunks. Hunks? Oh, oh my all right, all right. I don't want to hear about this. Oh my god! Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, you always have to outdo everyone, don't you? Oh, hey, look, there's Cheerios. Hey, Gary, your girl just vomited on the bed. So, Meat you say, so you look, Peace. you look down, and there was vomit all over you. The, the big chunks. Wow. Oh, I mean, uh. oh Jesus, it was like the most horrendous thing ever. <laughs> Funny, Tom Chisano was telling me the same story yesterday. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, we're going to take a break. Now that we've learned some stuff about Gary, and Jackie, and Fred. And Fred. Call us with your vomit story. Yeah, give us a call. We're taking vomit stories. All right, I've had a